right here at 11. It says, I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. And what? No, no, no. Listen, in the Bible, um, Jesus is sitting at your right-hand side, right beside you. And he's the Savior. Oh, no. I, I'm the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. Ooh. Um... Ding. He goes on at 12 here to get jealous and tell him why. He goes, I've declared, I saved, I showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Yeah, when when there was no strange God among you. Well, the, that was pretty rare, we're coming to find out, that uh, quite often y'all were doing something else, or no, that wasn't something else, that was, well, what are you trying to do? You're trying to gather the blind and deaf and stuff, the people that don't understand, and you're not trying to show them light either, by the way. Anybody that tries to learn stuff or later, you don't teach them. The Dark Ages are called that for a reason. Just when I think it's over, it always brings me back. Just a little bit lower down here, all of a sudden, if you'll look right here, God says there's dragons. Yep, the beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls. The hell is he talking about? Oh, that's a metaphor. The owls are going to be the wise people, and the dragons are going to be the, the dragon, the serpent of old people, the snakes. So this is the Babylon people and everything. No, 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 well, he says he's, there's, there's dragons. Dragons and owls. He says it right there. Dragons. Israel's not faithful. I mean, uh, Israel's unfaithfulness. Jacob here. Hast thou not called upon me, O Jacob? Thou hast been wary of me. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of burnt offerings, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. What is it other than cattle? It's people. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor weary thee in incense. With uh, What's the incense? That's the old people being burned, by the way. Um, thou hast brought me no sweet cane uh, with money, and all this type of stuff. So he hadn't been doing anything to um, worship God. Um, so, you know, this is God's chosen people. And he's like, where have you been? And they say that again at Sinai. Like, uh, well, you know, you have, who have you been giving all this worship to? It's not been me. And they're like, and this, this always seems strange to me because this shows you it's not the same God because they were worshiping somebody. And then he shows up and says, hey, you ain't been giving it to me. And then he tells him to, that you've got to start killing kids to him. Do what? By the way, about six or eight times now you can find in the Bible where it seems like God is begging him to come back. And he starts telling him that he promises all this fruitfulness and his family and big generations. And he's going to get all this land. And yet he don't give them no land for 40 years. They never see this land in the first place. And, and stuff so uh, he, he doesn't give him any of that there's no fruitfulness he doesn't make it rain or anything for these people whatsoever in fact he really doesn't come through on much any of that uh, sanctuary kind of thing does he yeah, just looking through the Jewish version of the Bible too this is the exact same Bible but written in, in uh, Jewish and they have a whole lot of the uh, Jewish words in them you know Hashem and stuff Hashem is the name and on the Yan Hashemini this is the altar of God uh, she give it to me, and uh, what I was looking up is seeing if they were doing that, uh, you had to offer me your firstborn child, and sure enough, he tells you, you do not delay to offer the fullness offering to Bickham or Cohen's Eve offering, the Bikor of thy Bethsalem, so you'll present to me, there it is right there, like, like the wise shall do with thine oxen and thy son, Shivat Yamin, it shall it be with its M on the Yam Hashimi, thou shalt give it to me, so yeah, on the altar and everything. Sure enough, that's what they're, they're going to do. But uh, you look around and there's just weird things everywhere like thou shalt not revile Elohim nor curse the Nazi of those people. Uh, that, that word is leader in the Bible. So Nazi meant leader in Hebrew. Wow, that kind of backfired there. And, huh, yeah, it's funny how the, he, you know, the Nazis took a lot of the symbolism and stuff out of the 
out of the Bible and out of just history itself, you know, the swastika is actually not theirs. They've got it all over the self, you know, and let's see. Um, so what's funny is they go up here and they talk about uh, if you sacrifice unto the other gods other than into the name, uh, he shall be destroyed. That person should be destroyed. And they don't even put gods in there. They just put GDs, you know, and stuff. Oh, oh, there was something cool down here. Um, you have to give back the clothes by sunset. Oh, yeah. So the sun god, Shamash, of ancient Babylonian, Sumerian stuff, Shamash, right? Um, you have to give it to him by Bo Hashemash. What is that? That's sunset. Mm. The god of the sun goes down. Yeah, they've got Shamash in there, written in the Aurora world there. Worshipping the sun god and have it listed in there exactly as that name. Shamash. Yeah, um, let's see. What else do they have here? Um... Well, one thing that keeps being curious and showing up here a lot is that every time that they say the word Lord, like the master of thereof, like if you have somebody that has some property and it's the master of, they use the word Baal, which is uh, Lord. Instead of using Lord, they use Baal, which is what Lord actually is in the in the Bible, Baal. Um, and so they've got it there. That's amazing that they still have it in there. But they're going, oh, it's just when we talk about Lord, we use that word. Like if you're the Lord over something, not the God. God, we actually use the word Lord. Really, because you didn't have the word Lord till the uh, Anglins made it up. So until then, you just kept saying ball for everything. You betcha. Shemash. If the sun be risen upon him, if the Shemash. There it is again. Another interesting fact in the regular Bible, it tells you you've got to restore five cattle and then seh for four of the goats. But here it doesn't mention that there's only four goats. It just straight up goes for it. You know, this they're one for one. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, then the Baal Habis shall be brought out before Halayim. If the Ganav not be found, if you can't find that animal, then the Baal Habis shall be brought before Elohim and see if there's a yacht on the property of his neighbor. Okay, so, um, hmm, Baal will be brought forth, hmm, or he'll be brought forth before Baal. That's just odd. 